So, if you look at this particular data, this particular data has a 3 years data, right? You, if you are lucky with your industry, so you might have more data. So, then it will be easier for you to illustrate. But 3 years data are sufficient to start with the you know winter hold model. I have bought a very basic data so that this complex winter hold model you can understand in an efficient manner. Look at the data pattern. So, this data say first quarter say April, May, June first quarter has sale of 108. Then next year first quarter, this is next year first quarter you can see these are nothing but first quarter of every year. You can see look at sales are down. So, first quarter April, May, June the summer quarter the this product has a low sale. But if you look at the third quarter, third quarter means what? October, November, December, right? So, third quarter to some extent say winter or festival season you can say has a high sell. Look at high sell, third quarter. Third quarter every year has a high sell. So, that means this data third quarter of every year has a high sell. But first quarter of every year has a low sell. So, that means this data confirms that data has a seasonality. Whatever you know, look at this first four quarter of first year, then this four and then this four. So, this way it is been repeated. So, the pattern is known to you and it will be repeated in a similar manner. So, that means data has a seasonality. So, this is done now. You can draw the graph also here I have drawn you. Now, look at the data has a trend or not. I have taken the overall sales of the data of three years for all 12 quarter and then I have drawn the trend line. Look at the dotted line trend line, it has a uptrend also. Look at it has a uptrend also. So, the data has a seasonality, data has a trend also. So, therefore, we cannot use hold model, we have to use, we cannot use simple seasonal index calculations because that takes care only the seasonality that may take care of trend, but there may be a high error, winter method will be a most appropriate for that. So, let us use the winter hold model for this data who is having seasonality and trend together. So, we are going to forecast for the fourth year, right? For the next four quarter of fourth year, what will be? your forecast. So, this is nothing but A is equals to 1, A is equals to 2, A is equals to 3, A is equals to 4. For this 4, you know, age value we will calculate. Like look at the formula here, for this age value, 4 value of age will make the forecast for the fourth year. So, let us recall this particular formula and illustrate this particular data sets for winter model. Now, initially what you have to do? Initially, you have to make the assumption of 3 smoothing component say what is that alpha, beta, gamma. Look at the initial assumptions alpha, beta and gamma. You have to assume it. Remember here this value it is the optimum value I have kept here. Optimum value I have kept here after optimization of the entire data iterations. Initially you can give any, any value. I, when I will go to the excel I will show you any value of initial value of alpha, beta, gamma you can give not a matter. But at a later stage after iterations once the software will optimize the solver will optimize the alpha beta gamma value for this particular data sets you will get this alpha beta gamma. I will show you. Suppose we found this alpha beta gamma so that you can understand the actual iteration effectively. So, I have kept the optimum alpha beta gamma but initially you can start with any value I will show you in excel. Suppose alpha beta gamma we have initialized now or optimized whatever. Then you have to calculate the index first. So, first year index you calculate 4 quarter as initial assumption. This is also you know one intermediate steps. Actual hold model has not inter model has not been started yet. So, initial assumptions also you can use for your seasonal index calculation also. So, first quarter index will be how much? The actual by the average of four quarter. This will be nothing but your index for first two years. Later in this index will change actually. Later at a couple of after iteration you know this index value will change, but initially you are assuming it that first quarter of first year index is nothing but the actual value by that year all data, all data look at all data of that year by 4 average value you will get the index for that particular quarter, correct. Look at here index for that particular quarter, in, this is also initial assumption to start your iteration and then you can drag this formula, you will get the all for like in a for second quarter 125 by this average value of all four quarter of first year you will get the index of 95 and this third quarter has the highest cell you can see the index is almost 15 percent extra. So, 150 by total average, so you will get 1.15 as the index for that right seasonal index, some of them should be equals to 4. I told you if not then by proportionality you have to do out of 4 how much. So, suppose some of them is 4 and weightage, look at fourth quarter also is having high cell. 
so the 8 percent extra. So these are the initial index for winter method. Using the data you can calculate it, right? That will change. Now let us start the initial level value calculation for four, first four period you already have the data. So we will start calculating the initial level say L5 for fifth period onwards we will start the calculation then trend 5 then seasonality 5 and then using these two we will calculate our forecast for fifth period. Let us see now the level calculations how I have calculated the level for fifth period it is nothing but look at the formula this is also intermediate steps. So, yt of that period by the corresponding period index that which you have already calculated y5 now for fifth period we are calculating the say intermediate level value. So, how will calculate the level value effectively what is y5 the y5 is 116 right actual data actual data by because you are calculating the level value right. So, this may be down may be up you do not know in the in your data sets it might be down up it is you do not know whatever you have to divide suppose it is here. So, you have to divide by the index. So, what is the index for that particular L5 quarter L5 means what fifth quarter right fifth quarter means what the first quarter second year first quarter. So, first quarter index is 82 percent. So, 0 0.82. So, what do you do divide that fifth quarter actual data say 116 by index what is the index 0 0.82. So, you get the decentralized data level value. So, this is what your level intermediate level or fifth period as 140.7 look at here. So, in intermediate level also you have calculated now. Next the trend how will calculate the trend this is also intermediate final hold winter model calculation has not been started yet initial assumptions through the process you are doing it. Now the trend what is the trend trend calculation for the fifth period is nothing but that level that you have already calculated right intermediate level you have calculated. So, level minus the previous period level this gap is nothing but your initial trend assumption what is that the current level that you have calculated and the previous say, level you have how you will get the previous level how you will get the previous period level is nothing but the actual by the index actual by the index look at actual is how much 141 141 is the actual by the index is 1.08. So, if you divide that you will get the value here suppose one you know some value you will get it here. So, say maybe you know it will be 141 by 1 point means it will be lower right. So, some say 138 or something you will get it. So, once you will get it here say say 130 etc you will get once you get it you will get the difference between them the level gap is nothing but your trend. So, this is what we have written here clear now. So, one that is finalized let me summarize this part. So, it is nothing but the trend the intermediate trend what is this this is nothing but say T 5 right nothing but the corresponding level 5 that you have calculated already 140 minus the previous period the level value how will get the decentralized value how will get you cannot take enter 141 141 by index. So, like like remember 141 by index so you will get this value. So, this value is coming here the, the level gap current level minus previous level this is your trend value now. So, in initial trend also you found so two value you got the level and trend you can add them you will get the forecast so, is index now, but index also you have to calculate then only you can multiply right because here you are doing the winter method. So, this part is done now. Now, we will calculate the index. Look at that. How we will calculate the index? It is nothing but the weighted combination. This is also intermediate. Once these three are done, then only you can actually the you know iterative process of winter method will come into execution. So, let us see now the intermediate one more component that is called index also let us calculate. So, what will be the index for, for season 5? So, this one, this one. How we will calculate right? So, this is nothing but weighted combination. Suppose gamma, whatever you have assumed you can put 1, 2, or 1 say 0 0.5 whatever 0 0.2 initially, but later stage you can optimize it. Suppose you have taken some say 50 percent or whatever say 16 percent here into the level actual minus level because weighted, weighted combination. So, what is actual? Actual is 116 and what is your level value decentralized value of that 116 has gone up look at the remember 116 say 116 where here 116 has gone up to 140 now. So, 116 has gone up to 140. So, this 160 by 140 this is your index now 160 by 140 it could be less than something. So, now effectively you get that index right into that index this is index actually that index because actual by signal. So, you will get the index in a reverse manner. So, this say 50 percent or 16 percent of that plus 1 minus gamma 1 minus gamma of that corresponding period index. Let us see the calculation here corresponding quarter index is which one which quarter you are calculating 
fifth quarter you are calculating, right? Fifth quarter index you want to calculate. This you don't know. Suppose this, look at this. I have kept my pen here. This you don't know. Suppose this one. You don't know yet. So now you will be calculating this, right? So this is which period intermediate index you are calculating? For fifth period intermediate index you are calculating. So fifth period means the corresponding, what will be the initial guess or corresponding year? The first year of, like, you know, first quarter of previous year. So what is the first quarter? Fifth period means the first quarter. So you have to take this as an initial seasonal index, which you have assumed by taking the average of the data. So this is your, you know, nothing but your initial index and this is the current index. So take the average of weighted combination of them, you will get the index. It might, in this case, it is matching with the same value, but after once you start the iteration, actually it will change. It will not be 0 0.82, it will change next iteration on us. Initially it might match. So therefore, you are getting this as the new index, actual by level plus say 50 percent or whatever of that corresponding quarter index of the previous year. That is your, you cannot take the intermediate this index actually. You have to take that index because it is a fifth quarter means the first quarter. The corresponding index you have to take as a, look at t minus 6. So fifth means t, t 5. So s 5 minus 4. m is 4. So it is nothing but s 1. So s 1 is nothing but this. Clear? So this way you have to take the corresponding index and you will get the index for the fifth quarter now. So you got, let, let me erase now. Now you found the index for the fifth quarter also. So intermediate three value you found level, trend and index. Now you, calcul you calculate the forecast level plus trend multiplied by the index. Look at the forecast now. Level plus trend multiplied by the index. You got the forecast now. Now let's see how the sixth period level and trend and seasonal index we are calculating using the winter hold model. The actual iteration of the calculations will come now. So initial value are been calculated through fifth period. Now sixth period onwards, we will calculate the actual level, trend and the signal index and the forecast through winter hold model. So now I have kept the formula here also for your easy understanding. So the first point is the level. So we will calculate the level value now. How we will calculate using the winter, this formula we will be using here. So L6 say, because sixth period calculations will be done now. So for L6, it is nothing but alpha of sixth period actual by the index we have already calculated the index, we have significant amount of index now in our hand. So now we will use this index in place of that, though it is same, but we will take that. But other for other three, we will take the older one, the initial value one. But for the first fifth quarter, we will calculate this, like in you know, the first quarter of every year, we will take the revised you know, index now. But now let us see which one we are calling here now. So L6, nothing but the level value for the sixth quarter is nothing but alpha into the the actual value, the decimalized value, what is the decimalized value? Y6, what is Y6? 134 by index. What is the index? You are at T6. So 6 minus 4 means S2. 6 minus 4 means S2. 6 minus 4. It is nothing but S2. What is S2? 0.95. So 0.95 as S2 you have to take here. Look at here S2. So Y6 means what? 134 by 0.95. Look at here. This I have called here 0.195. So this is your say 86 percent of that plus 14 percent 1 minus alpha of you might say sir how come you got 0.86 I will show you later through optimization don't worry. Initial whatever you assume not a matter once you finalize the optimum value you will get this values. So suppose this alpha of this plus 1 minus alpha weighted combination of the previous previous forecast what is the previous period forecast level plus trend value level plus trend you have to only you have to take right decimalized value you have to take index you cannot multiply. So here level what was 140 plus a 9.7. So this value, level plus decentralized value, because this is all decentralized forecast, level value, the trend line value, base value you are calculating, right? Index you cannot take here. Rather you have to divide the actual by index, so that only decentralized that in between line that you get the data, base value. So 86 percent of that plus 14 percent of the previous level plus trend. So you get it this, if you take that sum, you are getting 141. This is your forecast for the sixth period. So that forecast is done now. Now intermediate level, similarly calculate the trend, look at that is done now. Now go to the similar way, you calculate your trend. How you calculate the trend? Through winter method, this calculation you take. So you are calculating the T6, right? T6 you are calculating, how you calculate? Muta, say 50 percent or say 78 percent here you found, say 50 percent. 50 percent of the level gap, new level you already found, right? 141 minus 140, so that level gap. But you cannot take only that, say 50% of that, 
plus 50 percent off or say 22 percent off the previous trade same logic like the hold model we are not changing anything in trend model trend formula it is as it is 50 percent of the level gap so here 78 percent optimum bad beta plus 22 percent of the previous trend you will get the forecast for the trend as it is very easy done now if you drag it you will get because this formula is the final formula look at this these two are now the optimum formula look at this these two are now the optimum formula if you drag them in excel you will get the entire winter calculations now index also one left one part is left right index calculations like this this one this one so let us go to that part now look at the index now seasonal index for which period for sixth period will calculate how come look at it is also 0.95 you might be confused sir it is also same coming same no 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 oh, after some iteration all this will change you will get to know so suppose how will get this this value now gamma suppose 16 percent or 50 percent say 50 percent of the actual by level so index you are you are taking the index the reverse value you take actual how much how much 134 and what is your level 141 you take that division you will get the index that index of say 16 percent of that plus say 1 minus gamma or say whatever multiplied by the corresponding quarter index s6 means what second quarter second quarter right second quarter means where is the old index old index you have to take 50 percent of that and 50 percent of current period index now so current period index you have already calculated 134 by 141 and say 50 percent or say 16 or whatever optimum value you have multiplied plus weighted combination of that 1 minus gamma of s6 means the second period second period index is how much this second period look at second period index is this much so that you take here you will get the index weighted combination of seasonal index now that you keep here done through winter method now we have calculated based on the initial assumption or initial calculation process once you get the these three value level trend and the index once you get these three value look at level trend and index you calculate the forecast now this plus this multiplied by the index look at here you found the level for sixth period you found the you know trend for sixth period you found the index now so if you add these two and multiply the index you will get your final forecast now for that sixth period here we have done it we'll look at here so level plus trend multiply by the index the new index that you have found so this data you use you will get the forecast for the sixth period using the winter hold method now what you have found you actually found the look at for sixth period the level through winter method the trend through winter method the signal index through winter method and the final forecast now if you drag it all this you drag you will get the forecast for you know the calculation of winter data winter hold model data and the forecast value for all the intermediate data sets and the corresponding forecast also but that is not final final forecast will come here for the fourth period let us see the iterations now so here is the final iterations if you drag them so far i have shown up to this up to this up to this and this right now now this formula you drag this because this is the initial calculations this may not match so this is the final formula through winter method you drag them you will get the forecast in excel i'll show you so you got the forecast for data now now look at this level and this trend and the index this index are fine look at this index now look at the plus four index now it is not the same look at to some extent because you have a limited data so it is not changing here at least this one 8.82 it changed to 0.83 now it is not the same it is 0.83 now you know over a period of time it might change also so therefore what happens if it is remain same what a matter not a matter but ultimately you are getting that index from the beginning itself so suppose but that may not be final because you are calculating the index through iterations and data are changing so therefore this index also will change suppose here we have limited data if you increase the data sets you will see the changes in the you know index also suppose here we found the final value and the corresponding index now you calculate the forecast this error part i will discuss later now let us focus the forecast final year fourth year forecast using winter method now h will come into the picture so what is the forecast for first period now 13th period it is nothing but level what is 152.296 plus trend what is 3.40 what is age first period you are de developing so age equals to 1 now age age is 1 here now 1 here now right plus age into you know trend multiplied by the index 
what is the index first period index what is the first period index first period index is nothing but 0.83 0.83 you will get the forecast as 128.50 done now for the second period so for 13 period you have calculated now for the second period of fourth year that means 14 period how will calculate the 14 period 152 as it is 0 0.29 plus a is equals to 2 now into trend as it is strong trend 3.40 3.40 multiplied by the index which index you will calculate now you have to take corresponding index 0 0.95 so 0 0.95 you will get 151.45 similarly for you know for third quarter you multiply this with h equals to 3 this for h equals to 4 h equals to 2 h equals to 1 you multiply this you know trend with the label and multiply the index you will get the forecast for this h value i have mentioned here here and you will get the in the forecast for the next year how much forecast 128 151 and 25 78 look at after again you are multiplying the index right so that you know get the zigzag pattern so suppose you got the trend line but after that you are making again zigzag so that you know the up down pattern come back so seasonal index pattern come back so this is what the winter hold model you have to see the forecast look at here look at for third quarter we have seen that every year third quarter has a high sell look at here every year third quarter has a high sell look at the winter method also whether it is following the trend or not seasonality pattern or not look at the third quarter highest sell 185 you will not find anywhere so highest then again in fourth quarter it is down 178 so it is down now so that means it is following the trend as well as the seasonality also so therefore winter method is very very strong and popular when you have the trend and seasonality here you can see the you know formula here look at here so h means one two three four particular additional period that you want to consider and this is nothing but the index in which period you are considering you put the value of h and m m is for fixed you will get the corresponding index that is the last index that you found that you calculate and multiply and you can carry for all the forecast now let's go to the excel and understand the entire calculation of winter method so we have come to the excel now and if you see the column number b it is nothing but the quarters we have three years data which I have also illustrated in the PPT. Now that was the screenshot of this Excel actually. But if you see here, we have three years data and say 12 quarters data we have and we have to forecast for fourth year that is 13, 14, 15 and 16. So this four years, you know, four quarters data we will predict now using winter method. Now these are the actual data. You can see that the data, I have drawn the pattern of the data here also. You can see the blue color data which are you know, actual data and it is seasonality right and to some extent trend is also there which I have shown you earlier. Now first step remember the, the PPT that I have shown you the steps first you calculate the index initial index. So that is here you can see 108 by the average of first four quarter. So this is the index initial assumption of index for quarter one similarly we have dragged the average and the the ratio that second quarter index is 125 by the average and these are the four index we have calculated right first step then next the initial value assumption for level what are them for level and then for trend and seasonality for these three level you can see level then trend and then seasonality right so these three part we have to calculate as a initial value so let's come to the level first initial level how we have calculated we have calculated the actual we have taken the actual data of fifth period from fifth period onwards we will start the calculation the actual value of fifth period by the index of first quarter because it fifth period is nothing but the first quarter first period so here you can see the actual 116 fifth period actual data y by what is that it is nothing but y by index right so here it is y5 by index a index a 5 or you can say the you know i one one here because you know first quarter and five fifth quarter are same so this we have done look at c6 by f2 so this is nothing but the index for that quarter so if you calculate 140.70 this is the initial level assumption look at here now let's go to the calculation of the initial trend so how will calculate the trend trend the this is the initial not the actual model of trend has, uh, like winter model has not been started yet initial assumption of level trend and seasonality required so here you see what is the value it is nothing but you know this 
particular value say you know 140 this is nothing but your the current level that you have found minus the previous period level what is the previous period level previous period level is nothing but 140 by index 1.08 that means the the gap between current level and the previous level so that we have taken as the initial trend right look at here this is nothing but 140 minus 141 by 108 so this is what 9.7 whatever it is coming the initial trend then the seasonality also index also we have calculated let's see how come we have taken say 50 percent weightage say i can see you like you know say whatever weightage i have given suppose one here initial value not a matter look at this this value into the current index what is the current index that as per the current data 1116 by 140 the level you found if you take that gap 116 by 140 you will get the index but that takes a 50 percent of that or whatever 100 percent whatever you put this is alpha beta gamma initial level. i have taken 50 50 and 100 you can change this automatically it will be optimized don't worry so now this value we have taken plus 1 minus gamma of the corresponding weightage what is the weightage 82 percent like you know that index for that quarter click it you will get the index this because gamma i have assumed to 1 so therefore it is coming to be 0 0.8 but if you change that gamma optimize it might change also right so now this is the three value let me put color these are the three initial assumption of level trend and seasonality right now we have done one level of iteration but the basic level of assumption you can say one way of assumption and then the corresponding forecast is l plus t whole multiplied by the index so we got say 124 whatever now first iteration of winter method will start look at look at here how come we found this alpha into level value plus 1 minus alpha of previous forecast so what is that you have look, look at you are calculating the level so actual value you cannot take c7 you cannot take what is c7 c7 is nothing but the value of sixth period actual data by the corresponding you know the index that what is the corresponding index look at here the corresponding index is now f2 it is f3 because you have come to second quarter sixth quarter means second quarter now so you have to take corresponding index of 0.95 as the second quarter index so you divide that you will get the level value of that that particular quarter intermediate level plus 50 percent say you have assumed 50 percent say initially 50 percent of previous period forecast so level plus trend like d6 and e6 so level plus trend that's 50 percent of that so two level weighted you are taking weighted average so you found this as a forecast for you know level now similarly trend you can calculate the trend beta into the level gap 145 and 40 that's gap beta say 50 percent plus 1 minus beta of previous trend what is previous trend 9.70 look at here so this way you can also take the weighted combination of the trend so trend is done now now seasonality index now now you have to revise it so what will be the seasonality index it will be the gamma combination weighted combination of gamma with current level values and the corresponding seasonal index plus your old index seasonal index so how come you can do it look at here so here it is nothing but c7 by d7 c7 is current value actual and you already got the level 145 so if you take that you will get the you know index the current index seasonal index so that but gamma percentage of that plus or minus gamma of the corresponding quarter index the old index so weighted average of that is your forecast for next you know index revised index for second quarter so here we found 9.92 it was 9.95 here it is 92 but we don't know what is the optimum value because alpha beta gamma is the initial assumption right these are our initial assumption we'll optimize it then we'll get to know now since you found all these three now now what you do look at the forecast level plus trend multiplied by the index now if you drag all them this from this here onwards if you drag the process you will get your forecast right you will get your level forecast you will get your trend forecast you will get your index forecast similarly you can do and also you will get your overall forecast right done now once it is done so look at the final level value and final trend value the best trend you found level and trend using that by h term multiply with h term you will get to know the final forecast for the fourth period so what will be the fourth period forecast look at look at h equals to 1 h equals to 2 h equals to 3 h equals to 4 we have mentioned here right not the index these are the values h so i have written here only so the fourth period 13th quarter forecast will be level 
plus h into h into trend h is one first period multiplied by the index you will get 133 now for second period suppose for 14th period so 14th period what will be the forecast level say point something plus h is 2 now into trend 2.89 multiplied by the corresponding index what are the index corresponding index you found here corresponding index you found here 0.93 this way you will get 152.45 say so this way for first one you have to multiply the, the corresponding index not that index it is for fourth quarter index 1.05 0.83 is the index for the first quarter this way you multiply it with each time of the trend plus level multiply the corresponding index for that final index that you found you will get the forecast for all four period this is what you know outcome of winter method but one thing that this value we found are not the best 133 152 182 are not the best because this is based on this initial smoothing parameters assumption now let us optimize i have also calculated the error based on this data this initial guess i have calculated the error i have calculated the absolute error and mad and say square error and msc and rmc also now look at the current rmc 7 point something right current rmc 7 point something so let us optimize it go to data go to solver i have put all the data here so i don't need to repeat that again so i have to minimize the rmc so rmc i have called here as objective function it's a minimization problem so i'll select the minimization cell and my changing variables are the decision variables who are alpha beta gamma right look at alpha beta gamma are my changing variable then condition all these condition are nothing but you know you can add the condition here conditions are nothing but this condition this all these variables should be less equals to 1 less equals to 1 and they should be greater equals to 0 I have already written them here so 1 I can delete no need to repeat that if you put not an issue but it is a RMEC is a nonlinear function so we will select the nonlinear value as the optimization process make sure that you click this because non-negative solutions we are requiring we are planning to get the non-zero solution so non-negativity conditions you have to click now if you solve it you will get the best RMEC least RMEC and the best alpha beta gamma also look at the changes in alpha beta gamma so here we found the best alpha beta gamma 0 0.86 0 0.78 0 0.16 and the RMEC is 2.66 and the corresponding final forecast is this look at here 1.66 I can delete this now look at 128.5 151 185 170 look at the pattern of the data also it is also following to some extent you know seasonality look at here so 120 is the first quarter forecast look at here if you copy this data and if you paste here you will get the the pattern of the data look at here now if you see 128 is the 13th period forecast look at here now 128 is the 13th period forecast which is nothing but first period of fourth fourth year look at fifth quarter and ninth quarter look at the trend uptrend but it is the lowest among the quarter data all for that year look at 15th period that means third quarter of fourth year highest sell 185 which is higher than 160 150 so it is following the trend and the seasonality also look at it has a highest value now if you look at all this data and look at the forecasted graph now with the sales look at here we have started our forecasting from this period say from here onwards so from fifth period onwards we have started our forecasting and look at the pattern of forecast also it is matching with the actual data pattern whatever the past period data you have now the forecast are also in same line so you can see here so this is what the beauty of winter method it takes care of the seasonality and trend and if you look at the data pattern it has uptrend also so it is following the uptrend it is also taking care the seasonality also look at the pattern in third quarter it has the highest cell it is also taking care also and also first quarter it has the lowest cell 128 lowest cell it is also taking care and again fourth quarter it is down fourth quarter it is down so it is following the pattern it is following the pattern so this is what the winter method now let us come back to ppt now here so this graph same graph i have drawn here as the illustration of winter hold method this is all about winter method but now i would like to share one additional information for you that so far whatever the procedure of winter method we have discussed we call it a multiplicative method of winter's method right winter's hold method 
there are two way of analyzing the winter hold method one is the multiplicative method like you know label plus trend you add label plus trend part each time sub trend part then you multiply with the index so this is called the multiplicative procedure of winters method or winters hold method and we have illustrated detail on there is another process called the additive method of winters hold method almost similar process similar calculations you know this excel sheet i'll share you can also practice at home what the formula you have to change only like notations concepts all will remain same only thing is that here you can see you are not dividing the index to the actual data so you are subtracting the index value which is very less closer to 1 right maybe less than 1 or greater than 1 but closer to 1 so that index you are subtracting not dividing you are decentralizing this way actually not by so this is not that popular this one is popular therefore i have illustrated it which is easier to understand because you know actual data you are dividing by the index so you are decentralizing the data you are bringing a train line right so therefore and that will be your level value similarly here same information are there same ingredients are there but you are not dividing you are subtracting the trend uh, sorry index from the actual value rest all are as it is trend calculation will be the same in between index also when you calculate the index you are not again dividing the actual by the level you are taking the subtraction therefore here also you are adding to the data not you are multiplying not you are multiplying here you have multiplied here you are not multiplying you are adding to the level and trend each time of trends plus the seasonal index that's it rest all are same only here you have to subtract here you have a division here you have a division again by click out it's a reverse, a reverse of the you know index and level so therefore here you are subtracting here actually you divided actual by level you are getting index but here you are subtracting therefore in the final calculation also final forecast also you have to add the seasonal index part not the multiplication here you have multiplied with level plus 10 here with level plus 10 you are adding it that's it this is what the additive version of hold model you can practice that with the data that i have shown you you can change the calculation process and you can practice this also as a part of additive version of hold method but multiplicating method is sufficient to you know get into a winter method and application in the industrial problem now whatever model you can select whether additive method or multiplicative method the essence of both concept is that you actually take care the trend and seasonality of the time series data and you make the forecast with the appropriate you know pattern of the data what has happened in the past you are following in a similar manner and you are making the forecast for the future in a similar trend with similar seasonality component this is what the winter method i believe it is clear to everybody so let's you know close this winter uh, method session here in the next class we will focus on multiplicative decomposition method which is alternative to winter hold method remember another concept we will be discussing which is very layman way of you know people can understand that also and industry also prefer that that method we will discuss in the next session which is called multiplicative decomposition method and this type of all calculations of winter method are not required there in an easy manner you can also understand as a backup of or alternative process of winter hold method so with that let us conclude the winter hold session thank you